Photo Nights presenters are gearing up for the big event, and we have the opportunity to interview Kim Hubbard and Olivia Ross, two of five photojournalists attending Wednesday night. Among Hubbard's major projects is Cheetahs on the Edge, which won a National Magazine Award. She's also photographed Kodiak Bears in Alaska and has visited several countries with former President Barack Obama. Here, she tells us about how her work has inspired national change worldwide. When I was at National Geographic, I produced a story on koalas in Australia with Joel Sartori. And so we sent him down there and thought we knew what he was going to cover. I mean, the, the story was that the um, koalas were losing their habitat due to real estate, uh, the golf courses, just, just the suburbs were encroaching on their habitat. So there were koalas like living in neighborhood trees and they were be being killed by neighborhood dogs. They were being hit by cars. Um, so we sent him down there and you know, he's shooting all this and he befriends these veterinarians and they start showing him all the dead bodies of the koalas that are killed in these various ways. And they agree to meet him in the middle of the night and spread out all the bodies on this tarp. All the bodies of the koalas killed in one week. And it was just this awful picture of these mangled koalas. And they could have been fired if, if their bosses had known that they were cooperating. But put him on the tarp, he got on a ladder, took the picture, and we ran at a spread. And the Australian government was so embarrassed that they passed a law to help save the koalas. The cheetahs I'm really proud of because nobody had ever done that before. We, um, we filmed a, a cheetah running at full speed with a camera moving parallel to it in real time. And it, it had never been done. And it, was, mm -hmm. it took us six months to plan it. I still can't believe it worked. Um, so I, that I'm really, 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 really proud of. Olivia Ross, a 2021 UTC graduate, now works for the Chattanooga Times Free Press. Her work ranges from concerts to trials and everything in between. Here she tells us how she got started. I took a PJ1 class because I had a friend that was like, you know, take it, it's fun, you're artsy. And I was like, okay, I'll try. Um, and took it and kind of just fell in love with the process of making photos. And I didn't really know anything about it or know how to work a camera. I didn't know what any of the knobs and gears did um, and kind of just figured it out along the way with, you know, Billy's help and everything and then grew to really love it and ended up taking, you know, PJ2 and Rising Rock and had a blast doing it. I enjoy sports photography. Um, I, I think one of the times that I had like a, a very interesting assignment was with the Coast Guard. They came out to do drills on the river um, and I got to go on the boat with them and being like in an interactive situation is always interesting to me. I have covered trials that definitely kind of hit close to home and I have to, you know, um, take myself out of that and be there to do my job. Um, but it is kind of hard sometimes to sit in court and listen to, you know, a family talk about something that happened to them or the victim or the victim's not there to talk about that. Um, that always is really hard. You can find out more about these professionals Wednesday, March 1st at 6 p.m. in the UC Auditorium. See you there.